Hello everyone. Today we'll be bringing you a review of the Uniball Kurutoga Mechanical Pencil 0.5mm. So, a few interesting things about the pencil. Uh, first of all, the main feature of this, which is kind of the selling point of it, is that it features an exclusive rotating lead mechanism that helps prevent lead breakage. They claim that this reduces dull spots on the lead and leads to clearer handwriting. Essentially what this does is rotate the lead as you're writing, so every time you take your pencil off the paper, it rotates the lead a little bit so that it wears down evenly as opposed to wearing down uneven and then you kind of get some really uh, sharp lines and then some really thick lines and it doesn't look as good. This uni utilizes Uniball's diamond infused lead, this here, uh, which is advertised as being stronger than the leading lead. The pencil does have a fixed sleeve. Uh, it does not retract into the point of the pencil. So because of this, it's really not pocket safe uh, as you run the risk of kind of uh, jabbing yourself with the sleeve if you had this in your pocket. The erasers for the pencil are actually extremely small, which I did not like about this. Uh, also, the lead goes in here underneath the eraser. So the erasers are extremely small. Uh, for a pencil with such innovative technology. I, I find it somewhat odd that they included such a tiny eraser. It seems somewhat silly to put an eraser this small on any mechanical pencil these days. And when you compare this to other pencils we've looked at, such as the Pentel Twist Erase or the Papermate PHD Ultra, you can really see the difference. And I'll show you here. Here's an eraser new, never used for the Kurotoga. And here is, I believe, for the Papermate PHD Ultra. So it seems kind of silly when you compare them side by side that they include this tiny little eraser compared to this massive eraser. I mean, the amount you'd be able to erase with this jumbo eraser from the uh, PHD Ultra is so much more uh, than this little thing. So I kind of didn't like that. Uh, the barrel here is just made of a very lightweight plastic. Uh, it does feel a tad bit on the cheaper side, but I didn't really mind it. Uh, it does give the pencil a kind of feel of being light as air, it really weighs nothing because of this. There's no real comfort grip, just uh, kind of three indentations or little ridges if you want to call them in the barrel. It, it provides decent grip, but because of that, since the fact that there's no rubber or any kind of foam grip or anything, it's not the most comfortable for long-term writing. Uh, just in writing a couple pages, I did feel a little bit of strain, so that wasn't a great feature of it. So, let's see how it writes. We'll see right off the bat the lines it's producing on the paper are very consistent. We're not getting kind of any any of those issues where you know when you, especially when you're writing around a curve uh, where you get like a thick line and then at the top of the curve it's a very thin line. It does uh, produce very even, consistent lines, so already uh, we can see that it does what it is advertised to do, and that's, uh, you know, keeping lead from breaking and keeping lines, uh, you know, very consistent uh, thickness and not having uh, some thin points and some thick points.
So the way it writes is unquestionably good. I claim their diamond infused lead is stronger than the leading leads. I have to say I agree. I'm pressing down pretty hard. I really couldn't get it to break. I'm sure if you uh, advance the lead out a little bit more to have like a, a bigger point showing there, you might be able to get it to break, but I don't know why you would actually do that to write with. So it does live up to its uh, promise of being stronger than the leading lead, and that's a very good feature. Let's see how it performs uh, erasing. Do some very light marks, some medium, and then some very dark. I find uh, it to actually be a little difficult to get a grip on this cap here to take it off. I tend to get a little sweaty bit, uh, sweaty hands here. And um, the cap's small, so if you have sweaty fingers or you can't really get a grip on it, it can be a little bit difficult to get that off, so that doesn't really add or take away from the pen, just a little bit of an annoyance. So we have our light mark, medium, and dark. Now I have to say, I do like the feel of the eraser uh, and the quality of the material and how well it erases. It does erase very well. It feels extremely smooth. Uh, it doesn't produce a whole lot of dust from the eraser. So it works very well. Just again, my only gripe with it is the fact that it's so small. Because I, I erased a total of, hmm, you could say about six words total. And you can already see this starting to wear down fairly significantly, especially in relation to the overall size of the eraser. So again, it works very well, uh, just they really should have included a bigger eraser on this. So, I uh, take a look here, the light mark erased just about 100%. The medium, uh, it erased mostly, I'd say maybe 75 to 90%. Um, you can see it a little bit, but not too bad. The dark, you can still see the mark, but again, that's pretty much to be expected. Let's take a look at some writing we did prior here. Again, more of the same. Very uh, consistent lines produced on the paper. Even thickness. Um, we didn't really get uh, any areas where it would seem very thick at one point and then very thin at another or anything like that. So the pencil does do exactly what it says it do. The what it says it's meant to do. The uh, Kurutoka engine really does rotate the lead, and it really does produce good results in the lines you see on the paper. Again, I uh, tried pressing down a little harder here. I really couldn't get the tip to break, so it also uh, delivers on its very strong lead promise. Another test with the eraser, much of the same. The light and marked, we could erase 100%. The medium, 75, maybe 80 to 90%. And the dark, we, we can still see the uh, pencil marks there. But again, not to, uh, that really doesn't take anything away from the performance of the pencil overall. So, to sum up, uh, the rotating lead mechanism is extremely useful. Uh, it's a very innovative feature. Uh, I think just the pencil falls short in other areas. It seems like the focus of this pencil was entirely on one thing, which is, you know, the, the Kurotoka engine, and everything else kind of fell by the wayside. Um, now, this is the most basic uh, Kurotoka model. There are others available online, but I don't believe any of them really address any of the issues that we saw in this video. Um, what I'd love to see is to have this pencil with a jumbo eraser, you know, a thicker barrel, and uh, a rubber comfort grip. Then it would kind of be the ultimate pencil. Um, didn't talk about the clip here. Just a real basic plastic clip. Like I said, the, um, the entire construction of this pencil is just a very lightweight plastic, so the clip isn't great. It feels a little bit cheap, but it does have some decent give to it. And it feels pretty uh, 
feels like it attaches pretty strong in there, so it probably won't break. So, overall, a very, very neat and innovative pencil. Um, just needs to incorporate some, some of the more modern design features that other mechanical pencils have incorporated, and then it would be just about, uh, I'd say, the best mechanical pencil you could get if it had everything. That's about it. Thanks for watching.